Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. I am Muhammad and today we're going to be seeing how we can actually export matrix out of our .NET Web API. We're going to be seeing the open telemetry matrix and how we can actually have access to it inside our application. So let's get started. What I want to do here is this is my normal application that I usually utilize. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my terminal and add a couple of packages. But before we do that, let me show you around the application. It's a normal web API, which we're gonna have two multiple co two controllers which basically give us the ability to do CRUD operation. And we're utilizing SQLite there. So the first package that I wanna install is gonna be .NET add package. It's gonna be open telemetry dot extensions hosting. This should take a few seconds. Okay, perfect, it has been added. Let's clear this up. The other one's gonna be .NET add package. And this is gonna be a little bit more tricky. Let me show it to you why. So if I go to my web browser here, we wanna utilize the open telemetry exporter prometheus.asp.net core. But this is gonna be within the RC1. So it's the release candidate. It's not gonna be the final version yet. So for this reason, what we wanna do is we need to go to, in order for us to make sure that we got the right version, just go to the nuget.org website and just copy it exactly from there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to my rider and let me remove this and let's paste it here. So now that we have done this, now we can see it has been installed. If I go right now to my CS Proj, we should be able to see it there. Okay, perfect. And now if I go a bit down, we can see that I have the open telemetry extension for hosting as well as the Prometheus release candidate version. Perfect. So now that's gonna be all of the packages that we're gonna be adding. The next step is all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure my program.cs in order for it to actually take this package into place and start exporting the telemetries that we want. So before the builder.build, I'm gonna put builder.services add open telemetry and now here I want to do basically some configuration for it so the first one is going to be dot with matrix and I'm going to specify the options that I want so the first option that I want is add Prometheus exporter it's going to be the first one then I'm going to put options dot add meters so add meters mean here it's going to be what are the parameters that the open telemetry service is going to be looking for so as we know within our dotnet application our application will be running on castrol which is the built-in web server that the dotnet utilize as well with that there's going to be other services that we might want to utilize in order for us to get a bit of an overview about the performance of our application what's going on there so for this reason here i'm going to add two of them and these two are they're going to be as follow so the first one is going to be Microsoft .ASP.NET core.hosting and basically this will allow us to look at the hosting package and everything which is going within that DLL within our application and it will basically be able to add metering to it in order for it to keep an eye on it and the other one is going to be microsoft.asp.net core.server Castrol. So what we're doing here is the first one we're looking at the DLL ho for hosting and for the second one we're actually looking at the server itself which is responsible our web server which is responsible for our application to run and these are going to be the two metering. The Prometheus exporter here if you're not familiar with Prometheus it's basically a dashboard that actually utilized or came along with uh, Kubernetes in order for us to have a visualization of the performance for application. Prometheus exporter here is basically going to tap in, into the uh, logs and basically we're going to be able to extract and uh, it will be able to scrap the data out of it and basically try to utilize it. We're not going to be delving deep into the creating of the dashboards and basically visualizing it. All we want to do right now is just like, take a look uh, at the output that this telemetry is going to be providing and that's it we're not going to be delving into creating the dashboard if you're interested in creating those dashboards let me know and we'll make sure to create a specific video on how we can actually create those dashboard utilize prometheus to extract data adding grafana to it etc etc but for now we're just going to be utilizing at the export of these telemetries that we need and the last item that i want to add here is going to be options dot add view and basically if i take a if i take a hover here above on what is add view let us fix this first. So the add view also allows us to uh, use customized matrix output from the SDK and the views are applied in order that they are added. So basically these views will allow us to actually get the open telemetry uh, data that we needed, which is outputted by our .NET SDK. And basically they're gonna allow us to visualize it. Again, we're not gonna be dealing with the visualization. We're just gonna be dealing with the matrix that's being produced. So for this, all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna specify the view name. I'm gonna call it requests processing and then I'm gonna add here my new explicit bucket histogram duration and we, as we can see here this is stores a configuration of a histogram matrix stream with explicit bucket boundaries so here basically it will allow us to see to see a full list of our metrics in an histogram view again basically the way it's going to be capturing it so we can actually process it 
again, we're not going to be building into the dashboard, but uh, this will allow us to actually, if we want to build on top of that, to take this information and build whatever we need to. So all I'm going to be doing here in order for me to build this matrix, I'm going to go to the Microsoft website in order for me to get the default information that they provide. And this is going to be through GitHub. So let me go to that one. And here basically within GitHub, if we go to the Open Telemetry SDK in order for us to customize it, there's a lot of different configuration that we can actually utilize in order for us to have all of this in place. So we can, for example, here, this is another view, my counter and my counter redeem if we're going to be build it specifically from there. As well, there's a lot of different tags that we can actually utilize. And there's a lot of different ways where we can actually build it. And this is what I want, What this is what I'm looking for. We can see the explicit bucket histogram aggregation. And this is going to be the value that we need to provide in order for that bucket to work. And this is the default uh, value. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking the same implementation that they have provided in order for us to have the same output that they're going to be seeing. I'm just going to copy this, go back to Rider, and from here I'm going to put boundaries. I'm going to add those boundaries here. So let's just copy paste it and add it here. Okay, perfect. Let's make sure. Okay, perfect. So now this is going to be my configuration. And the last point that I want to add here is I'm going to add the following. I'm going to put app dot map Prometheus scraping endpoint. And that's it. That's all I'm going to be doing within my application. So now let's run this application and let's see it running. So now my application is building. And now if I go to my web browser, let me refresh this page. We can see now I have my Swagger endpoint. I'm just going to do the get the drivers and we can see it's working. I can get my driver. But now if I go to forward localhost 5000 forward slash matrix, and if I click on enter, we can see that all of the matrix from my application started to be populating. So now if I try to go to my post request, try to create a new driver, I'm going to say Muhammad Lawan 23, for example, run this. We can see here now it has been created successfully. If I come to my matrix, refresh it, we can see here that my um, my post has been, uh, my request has been added and we can see here that these are the requests that happened to my server. So we can see I did one get request. I see the post request that I done. We can see the amount of time it took. We can see the endpoint that is actually can be utilizing to process this, the local host, etc, etc. So this is all within my local environment. So imagine when we're actually publishing it on the server and we're trying to extract all of this different information. So let's uh, try to do a couple of just more executions so we can see it being populated more. And now we can see here that all of these has been trying to populate all of these different requests that are going to be happening. So I did already a get a driver and, and a post. Let us try to do a delete a driver. So let me get the ID. So if I go get all drivers, we can see now Muhammad is here. So I'm going to take Muhammad's ID and I'm going to go up to the delete and I'm going to try it out. Add my ID here. We can see it has been deleted. Now I should be able to see here that a delete has been added. So I'm going to refresh. And now we can see that delete also has been added, etc., etc. So we can see the flexibility that this information will provide us when it comes to monitoring and the telemetry that the application is going to be provide, as well as a lot of different configuration that's going to be very useful in order for us to have. Uh, this was just a quick video to introduce you to this feature. If you'd like me to delve more into uh, how do we, do we create dashboard, how do we scrap this information, how we can actually utilize it, please let me know. If you'd like to support me, please consider supporting me on Patreon or buy me a coffee. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.